Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a two-step sales funnel for affiliate marketing using System. Now, a lot of beginner affiliate marketers make the mistake of sending their traffic straight to an affiliate link, straight to their offer, without sending traffic through a sales funnel first. Now, this is a huge mistake because most people will not buy a product or a service online, especially if it's the very first time they're seeing it. But with a proper sales funnel, we can collect emails before sending people to the offer. That way, in case they don't buy it, we can follow up with email marketing and even promote more products to them in the future. This is crucial if you want to build a long-term business as an affiliate marketer. So just a brief introduction about System before I dive in. This is a funnel building software that also includes a built-in autoresponder, which means you can build sales funnels to collect emails and send out email marketing campaigns. You can do all of this on the free plan. They do have some paid plan options, but everything I'm going to show you in this video is all on the free plan. So just in case you don't know what a sales funnel looks like, it's basically going to be these two pages, the squeeze page and the bridge page. As you can see, traffic comes from any traffic source, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, even paid ads. You send it to a squeeze page first where you collect the email, then on the bridge page is where you introduce the offer, and the link on the bridge page is going to be your affiliate link. And then as you can see here, I have um, the email campaign follow-up, and that all leads people back to the affiliate offer page. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to go over these two pages, the squeeze page and the bridge page. Okay, so we're in system. We just signed up. We're on the free plan. You're going to click up here on funnels and then go over here where it says create. And you want to build an audience because remember, we, we want to build that email list. Uh, the name of the funnel doesn't really matter. Just call it video. It's going to create the funnel. And as you can see, we already have these pre-made templates to work with. Now, I recommend something simple. You don't want your viewers, your traffic to be distracted. You really want them to just take action, put their email in, and go through the funnel. Um, so we're going to select this one right here. It's pretty simple, straightforward funnel. As you can see, System is really smart. They already created the squeeze page and the thank you page here. We just have to edit them and make them look how we want. Um, so we're going to go over here to edit page. Um, now for this funnel, obviously the the funnel, the way you build it, it's going to depend on what product you're promoting. So for this funnel, I'm going to be promoting uh, the 15 day challenge by Legendary Marketer. Um, now this is a course that teaches people how to build a high ticket affiliate marketing business. Um, so just for reference, I'm going to pull up the sales page for this product. So here's the sales page for the product we're going to be promoting, the 15 day challenge. Now here's a tip for any product you're going to promote. If you're having trouble trying to figure out what words to write on your funnel, like what you're going to write on your opt-in page or your bridge page, check out the sales video or check out the sales page for the product itself and you can get inspiration as to what you're going to write. Uh, so for the headline of the sales of the opt-in page I'm going to build, I'm pretty much going to take this and use this to collect emails. Okay, so we're back in system. Now the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this background image because this is pretty distracting and not really relevant to what we're promoting. So you just want to click on it and make sure it's highlighted with the section up here. And we're going to go right over here on the settings and just delete this background image. Um, now the white is pretty boring, so we can add some color to it. Um, it's really not that important. I'm going to make it a kind of a green to match the, the button already. Um, you can change the color to whatever you want. Again, you don't want to be super distracting. Uh, keep it simple. Um, but now for the headline, remember we're going to get inspiration from the sales page that I just showed you. So I'm going to make it something like for anyone who wants to start a business but doesn't know where to begin. Something like that. Like it's very similar to the the headline on the sales page. So when people go through the funnel and they end up on the other the sales video, they're going to feel like they've been in the same website the whole time. It's not a huge leap. It's not a completely different website. Now for the subheadline and even the button, the label on the button, these are honestly fine as they came, but if you did want to change them, um, you would just click on it and type in whatever you want. You can uh, bold the font if you want, you can um, italicize them, and for the button you can change the text. You just click on this little gear here, go over to the left, and you can change the text right here. But I'm actually just going to leave it because that actually works with what we're promoting. 
Now if you really want to increase your conversions and get more people to put their email in, I recommend giving out some sort of free gift, even if it's just um, an ebook, a PDF file of some ebook. You can usually send that out through your first email, um, and that's a great way to get people to actually enter their email. But if you don't have a free gift to give out, um, what you can do, and as it's pretty much done here already, is you frame the sales video as a gift. Um, so you see, enter your name and email to receive the free video training. This is just going to be the sales video um, on the sales page, but the way it's framed here, it makes it like that video is actually a gift in itself. And to be honest, the sales video for the 15-day challenge does have a lot of great information, so it pretty much is a training video in itself. So the last thing we're going to do is go up here to save changes and then hit this exit button and we're back in the funnel builder. Um, the squeeze page is done. It's that simple. Now we're going to go to the thank you page. As you see, they already have some templates created for you. I'm going to do this one because it's very simple. And we'll go over here to the little wand to edit the page. And the same as before, we're going to change the background color. So we just select the section, go over here to background color, and try to make it as similar as you can to the first page. And now we can probably get rid of this. We don't need this, so we can just click that and delete it. Um, again, we can change the color of this to make it kind of match the rest of the website, like a green. Um, you know, it's just graphic design. It's not really that important. What's more important is the words on the screen and the messages that you're uh, relaying to your viewer. Um, so thank you for subscribing is fine. We can even make it simple. Thank you for entering your email um, or just thank you in general. That works totally fine. Um, let's see if we can just move this up here. That might look better putting that up there. Um, now I do recommend using a video on your bridge page. This is really just to build a personal connection with your audience because you're going to be sending this person emails um, potentially daily. So it's nice to build some sort of connection before you start sending these emails to somebody's inbox. Now it's super simple to add a video and system. You're just going to go over here to, assist, uh, to video on the left hand side and just drag this video over. Um, you just drag this up here. And for the videos, you have a few options. So to upload your video, you want to click on the gear here. And you could either upload a video directly to YouTube and then put the YouTube URL there or you could go into upload file and you could upload a file directly from your computer. Um, so you would have to click upload, select file, and then you go through your computer and upload whatever video you want. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but that just shows you how simple it is. Um, so imagine you have a video of yourself. Um, a bridge page video can be really simple. You really just want to introduce yourself and talk about the product, Tell maybe tell what it's done for you and what it can do for them if they decide to purchase it. So we're just going to change the text a little bit, make this say, um, please watch the video, then click the button below. And let's see, that looks fine. We can make this, um, we can honestly get rid of this. Uh, what you would ideally want on your bridge page is to talk about the product a little more. Um, well, you're going to talk about the product in the video, but maybe have some bullet points, some information about the product itself, maybe some testimonials about other people who have bought the product. Um, you're basically pre-selling your traffic before you actually introduce the sales video. Um, it's going to help you increase conversions, um, but ultimately you're going to have their email so you can follow up with any information you want to share down the line. So we're just going to change a few things here uh, to make it more specific about the product. Learn how you can start a profitable online business in just 15 days, um, even if you have no experience or failed in the past. Um, so here we go. And then we're going to click this button and just change this, uh, change the text here. So again, you just click the little gear. Go over to the left and to find where it says the uh, text, um, uh, right here, button text under typography. We're just going to make this say get started with an exclamation point. Um, and again, you can change the color the same way. You hit the gear and just find the color on here. You can make it a green. It's a good idea to kind of keep uh, the same colors throughout your whole funnel. 
um, and ideally you can match the colors to the sales video for whatever product you're promoting. So if we go over here to the 15 day challenge, you see the button that says get started is a green. So try to kind of match that as best as you can for whatever product it is. Um, and now most importantly, you want to make sure you have your affiliate link on this button. So I'm going to go over to Legendary Marketer um, to get the affiliate link just to show you where it is. You go up here to account in case you're promoting this product as well. You go to affiliates, click on funnels, go to business challenge click on affiliate links, go down, you want to make sure you get the sales page right here, copy the affiliate link, and now we're going to go back to system. Uh, again, you click on the little gear here with the button, um, and go over here, action when button clicked, make sure it's on open URL, and then you're just going to copy or paste your affiliate link right there. And you can make it open in the same window or a new window, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to keep it the same window and make sure we save our changes um, and of course you can make it look prettier than this this is just a simple tutorial to show you basically the basics that you do need I recommend a video on your bridge page and obviously the affiliate link leading people to the offer after you've collected the email now one last thing you want to have on your bridge page is an affiliate disclaimer you want to let people know that the product you're about to link them to is not your product you're simply an affiliate and you will earn a commission if they decide to buy that product so I'm going to drag over a content box um, actually no I think we're just going to drag over a row uh, right here we're going to drag this over and then we're going to add some text to it so go over here select text in the same thing you just drag it over and I'm going to just make this an affiliate disclaimer so I am an affiliate for the name of the company I will earn a commission if you decide to click a link on this page and make a purchase. Um, you could say as much or as little as you want in an affiliate disclaimer as long as you get across this main point. Um, let me just move my picture so you can see it right there. Um, it can be really simple, it doesn't have to be a lot. But this is a necessary legal disclaimer so don't forget this when you're doing affiliate marketing. So after we've saved our changes, we're going to hit exit, and we can see how this works. Um, let's go back to our squeeze page. Let's view the page. Um, so this is the page. I'm just going to put in a um, name and um, whatever email at Yahoo, and let's see if this goes through. Send me the video training. All right, brought us to the thank you page. Um, if you uploaded a video, there would be a video, but I didn't actually upload a real video, so it's blank. Um, but it looks fine. Learn how you can start a profitable business in 15 days. Get started. And we click this. It should bring us right to the affiliate offer uh, where you could click through and end up on the checkout page. Hey guys, that's going to be it for the video. I just showed you how to build a squeeze page and a bridge page for affiliate marketing using System. Obviously, this is just one part of the funnel. You still need to set up an email marketing campaign. I'm going to show you how to do that in a separate video. It should be linked up above. In the meantime, if you don't mind smashing the like button, that really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And consider subscribing so you don't miss more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching.